Namaste, this is Rishikesh Writings and we are in International Yoga Festival in Rishikesh. Today we, our guest is Kia Miller and Tommy Rosen. Namaste. 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 So happy to be here with you. <laughs> so happy to see both of you in uh, a great event, a yogic event. So Kia and the, um, Tommy, how the Kundalini Yoga comes in your life? Ooh, <laughs> two friends of mine, I remember thinking, wow, they're so radiant, they're so present, I want what they have. And one of those friends took me to a kundalini yoga class with a man called Guda Singh in Los Angeles, and uh, it, it captured my attention, and um, it, it started the process of uh, of a very deep level of healing for me and a very uh, deep level of awakening and so I began teaching it because I had such a profound personal experience with it. For me I had gotten to a place in my life where my stress was so high that it started to affect my body and in particular, I threw out my back, my lower back, so much pain. And it didn't come and then go. I was just in pain for about nine months. Extraordinary pain. And a friend suggested that I see this teacher who was teaching Kundalini Yoga. And I went to meet him and something about his presence was so powerful for me. He had a, a feeling of, of groundedness and uh, content, happiness. And it was very powerful just to be in front of him. And I thought to myself, I want this. Whatever he has, I want that. And so he started to teach me breathing, pranayam, kundalini yoga, asana, and in 90 days, my back was healed, no pain, and that was 20 years ago. And how important Rishikesh is in, in both of your life, and uh, what is his significance? <laughs> Rishikesh feels like home to me. It's maybe one of the most important places in my life. I try to come here, we try to come here as often as we can, and there's, uh, there's nothing like meditating here in this unified field here of Rishikesh. There's nothing like being by the banks of the Ganga and being in the Indian culture that's so infused with bhakti, with devotion, and especially in these mountains where the sages and the saints have been for thousands of years. It's one blessing after another. <laughs> Yes, everything that she said, Rishikesh is our home. We come here every year. I, I, when I think about Rishikesh, it's, it's three things. It's the land, this beautiful place, Ganga, and the people. Uh, Swami Chidnan Saraswati Ji, uh, Sadvi Bhagavati Saraswati Ji, all the teachers here. Our, our dear friend and teacher Anand Marotraji. The, the level of clarity and, and teaching is so high here. We have been all over the world. And so there's something very special to come here to experience the place, the people, and the teachings. And uh, after learning a kundalini kundalini yoga so what change you found in the life mm -hmm. like or, or what gift you get it like uh, everyone have a special that they uh, they have the, okay i get something but i would like to share so how this journey start of sharing this gift well for me what kundalini yoga did is it gave me a new life it's where i it's where i recognized the limited perspective I had of myself and I started to awaken a new level of power and presence and capacity and creativity and connection to source 
to that unified field, the Divine Mother, and then the, the, the teaching, it's just been grace. It's been so much grace, and yeah. Kundalini Yoga expanded my life, healed my body. It gave me a vision of, I would say, an upgrade to living, a much better, more productive life. In very practical terms, I think it made me um, more capable in my relationships, in my work. My capacity really grew. My creativity really grew. This is my wife. We've we've been together. We've been together for. My, my next my next question is how uh, this Ganga and Yamuna met together. Yes, it's <laughs> good. Well, it's good. You know, we support each other on this path. We practice together. We hold the same intention to uh, to be of service, and we love what we do. And so, it's another great blessing that we get to do this together. And when is the first time you met together? Like, uh, which is the place? Or we were in Los Angeles, California, in the United States, and we were just actually at a business meeting. She was from one group, and I was from another group, and we met. I remember I was on a cell phone, and she walked by, and I was on the cell phone, and I looked up at her, and I said, "I got to call you back." <laughs> <laughs> I hung up. <laughs> <laughs> but we've been we've been so blessed to um, to have these practices together in our life, and we've both we've both grown in different ways, but together. And uh, what uh, through your teachings, what message we would like to convey to the young generation in USA and even in India? You just travel in India and all around the world. We have a very unique opportunity right now um, as. As human beings, um, because the East and the West, the philosophies of the East and the West are are merging even more because the new scientists are beginning to create this language for all of the concepts that the yogis have had language for for thousands of years, and the new language of the quantum physicists in these scientists is very relevant for today, and it's allowing people to start to. Uh, grasp these ancient concepts just through the language that they're familiar with. So this is a very powerful time for people to be able to get the scientific evidence that these practices work, that the brain changes, that the nervous system changes, that our awareness increases. And so um, now more than ever I feel like please just drop your resistance get on a mat, start practicing, do the work to overcome your limiting beliefs about yourself, your cu old cultural beliefs, your old family beliefs, and really just set yourself free. We have this opportunity right now. I have nothing to add to that. <laughs> That's exactly all I would say. Set yourself free. Mm. We, we have, you know, we have the ability, we have the technology, we have the teachings. There's, there's nothing more that's needed. It's just your willingness. Your willingness to practice and to look at your life and to learn and to grow. So how big impact the Kundalini Yoga brings a new children in a school and in the colleges when you teach uh, in a chil to children and a uh, new age, new age, new age uh, uh, practitioner? Well, anybody who encounters this yoga and who earnestly practices is going to notice that their life changes. This practice brings about change, transformation. That's what it is. So anyone of any age um, can, can pick up this practice and they'll step into, it's like stepping into a river. You step into a river and you just start going with the flow. And maybe life seemed like you were swimming upstream at one point. But now, just flow. It was pleasure to speak with you in yeah. the International Yoga Festival. And I wish you both of you grow more 
deeply in the life share this gift and make a big changes to the people mm. around the world and the humanity at the end what message you would like to say to humanity <laughs> oh just please enjoy the present moment get into the present moment find your joy and your love and let's all explore from there um if somebody would like to find you where can where they can find well you can find me certainly on the internet anywhere under Tommy Rosen Facebook Instagram everywhere and my organization is called Recovery 2.0 and you can find us at r20.com so what this organization do we work to help people in recovery from addiction to live amazing lives totally fulfilled lives in recovery mm. thank you <laughs> uh people can find me at kiamilla.com or kiamilla yoga on instagram facebook etc and i have about 200 classes on glow.com that's g l o.com uh so you can find me and practice with me there thank you so much Thank you and namaste keep watching Arushkesh writings and we will get back to you with the new episodes with the new souls <laughs> <laughs> namaste